Hello, Brian here with ManageThePip.com. Please visit ManageThePip.com for more details on the expert advisor, indicators, and trainer application, or if you have questions about this video. In this video, I will show how to install Manage the Pip version 4.0 into the MetaTrader 4 application. I first want to go to the Tools menu, click on Options, and open up the Options dialog. From this window, I want to make sure that Enable Expert Advisors is checked, Allow Live Trading is checked, Allow DLL Imports is checked. And then I want to uncheck Ask Manual Confirmation and uncheck Confirm DLL Function Calls. Then click OK. Then I'm going to expand the Expert Advisors folder and double check that Manage the PIP version 4.0 is listed in, underneath this folder. If you do not see it here, then the MetaTrader application cannot recognize the file. And please refer to the installation instructions that you received on where to actually place the file for MetaTrader to recognize it. Now I'm going to open up a chart. In this case, I'm going to open up the Euro US and expand this open. And I'm going to move my Manage the PIP 4.0 into this chart by selecting it and dragging it by holding the left mouse button and releasing it into the chart. This first dialog that pops up, I want to double check that the live trading area has allow live trading checked and ask manual confirmation unchecked and that the allow DLL imports is checked and the confirm DLL function calls is unchecked. But I also want to go to the inputs tab and make sure that the default symbol equals the chart I, char I drug this EA to. And so it's not so we're going to change this the Euro US. and then I'm going to click OK. If on the top right corner I see Manage the PIP version 4.0 with a smiley face then I know this EA is running for the Euro US currency. And to just double check it I want to go down to the Experts tab in the terminal and make sure I see Manage the PIP version 4.0 Euro US loaded successfully. So any manual trades that are started, this EA will grab those trades, assign the appropriate settings to them, and manage it. Now I'm going to show you how to save your setting file. And to do that, you click on the, the smiley face with your left mouse button. And then you click the Save button. And I'm just going to save it for something I've already named. You can name it anything you want. You click Save here, since I've already had it. So now I have all these settings saved underneath that name. And as you look, there's a lot of settings that you could set in. So you don't want to have to type those in every time. So it's best to save them off. I like to save them with the same name as the currency that they're used for. So I click OK here. Now I'm ready to go. To load it, you simply click on that same link. And then you click the Load button. Find the file you saved it as. Click Open. And now it's loaded click OK. Now a couple of things I want to show is how you manage multiple currencies at the same time with this EA. In order to do that I want to open up another chart. I want to open up a uh, pound dollar chart here and notice that you don't see the EA running. It's only running on the Euro US currently. So I want to click and drag the EA over here. Since you've already confirmed the common settings that so you don't have to check that every time unless you reinstall MetaTrader. But I want to make sure that the default symbol is correct and matches what track chart I drug it to. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this before I get out of this. Let's just save it to here. Okay, and then I'm gonna click OK. So now I have managed the PIP version 4.0 running on my pound dollar chart and I have it running on the Euro US. This way you can open up a trade for the Euro US and it will watch it. And you can open up a trade for the pound US and it will watch it. So say for instance you had a 50 pip stop loss, default stop loss, in this case 54 pip stop loss for the pound dollar. 
and say, for instance, at 30 for the U.S. Euro U.S. When you kick off a trade on the Euro U.S., it'll immediately sign a 30 pip stop loss to his that trade, and for the pound dollar, it will sign 54 pips to that trade. This is how the EA can manage multiple different trades going at the same time, as long as they are different currencies. Thank you for watching. Please visit managethepip.com for more details on the expert advisor, indicators, and trainer application, or if you have questions about this video.